over the years, um, starting in 85, we developed a life sciences platform and we've been financing medical devices since that, that period. And um, we were fortunate enough to finance a couple of companies, luckily, that produced great returns. And those companies obviously were run by management teams that achieved that success with uh, very little coaching on our part. We found that um, we wanted to go forward and see more medical device deals, but we had a dilemma. The CEOs who were so successful now had a reputation among all of the budding entrepreneurs in this room and elsewhere that they got to see the deals first. And so we thought, well, why not create a partnership? Because the power of the partnership far exceeds the power of any individual. And if those executives haven't been successful in the past, do a pre-screening for us on these very attractive deals, we have a higher chance of being successful. So it was a, um, a no-brainer to join in partnership with the guys that we had previously financed, now successful, and join with them in looking at these deals together. Just to speak for a moment in, in more detail about the mechanics of the relationship, uh, you, can, you can fund an incubator different ways, and we've had three or four different models just in our six-year lifetime uh, as we've evolved. You can, you can have the investors put a pot of money in and then develop new companies and agree to split the equity that's created from that. You can uh, have the uh, investors put some money in and then when the new company gets funded, try to, to pay back that initial pool of money. Or you can have them put some money in uh, as we do now and then we work together to see what that new company is going to be uh, and do it on a, on a one company by one company basis. And that has just been the, the easiest, most flexible and efficient way for us. But again, we've gotten to that by uh, building trust. Uh, Robin is willing to invest in us up front before we've decided what the project's going to be. And we are willing to, uh, to run our business one company at a time, knowing that uh, if we uh, screw up, that uh, it may be harder to get funded next time around. Yeah, I would second that. Over the years, uh, we've had a group of limited partners that give us, you know, chunks of money in each new fund that we create and have developed a trust and relationship there. Our, the same trust and relationship exists with Foundry, so we create a blind pool together, if you will, a NUCO without a name, without a technology. And together we screen 100, 150 proposals and ideas and concepts to find the one such that by the end of the year of the NUCO, we will have teed up a Series B financing, a second round of financing, given it a name, uh, and started to recruit the management team that will replace Hanson and the other gents at the foundry and uh, move on to the next NUCO. So it's a once a year new company startup because we're confident that there are so many unmet medical needs out there that we can find something very exciting for the NUCO.